September 19th, 2024. Here's your H2B report. There's not much to report today. The USCIS has not issued a new H2B cap count since September 3rd, but as I kept saying, the last day of the cap is probably September 18th. Based on an analysis done by the Seasonal Employer Alliance, people who are much smarter than me who've been doing this for years, and the DOL numbers haven't really moved, so we don't need to look at those. What you should be thinking about right now is getting your prevailing wage in for April 1st, 2025 starters. It takes 36 to 42 days to get it back, assuming you don't get a request for additional information, an RFI. If you're thinking of applying for March workers, right, in that in-between period, a lot of landscapers have moved their starting time back, you should already have your prevailing wage in. So if you haven't thought about that and you need help, make sure you call us, 919-827-0918, or email us at info at fronterratech.com. We are taking on new clients for April 1st through November 1st, but if you're thinking about one of those middle times, contact us now. We really would like to help. We're taking on clients for nannies, for caregivers, for landscapers, and for other traditional industries in the H2B cycle. This year, I'm probably not taking on welding clients. I haven't had any success with that, and it looks like all welding applicants in the April season and the July season were denied this year. And that's a story for another day, but the H2B program does favor some things and not others. So anyway, it's a short H2B report uh, this today because there's nothing to add. If we do get a new cap count, I will do a quick update probably from my phone. Thanks so much for watching. And again, if you are looking for H2B help, give me a call. Take care.